Greetings and welcome to the Astronomy Picture of the Day podcast. Today's picture for July 18th of 2024 is titled Messier 24, Sagittarius Star Cloud. So what do we see here? Well, here we see what is known as Messier 24, a star cloud in the direction of the constellation of Sagittarius. And that's an unusual thing for the Messier catalog. Usually most of those catalogs were bright gal- big galaxies, star clusters, nebulae. However, here we're just seeing a gap, a region in the dust. So as we look toward the center of our galaxy, we're looking through the plane of our galaxy and our galaxy being a spiral has a lot of dusty material which blocks out the light from behind. So if it were not for all that dust if we looked in the direction of Sagittarius it would be extremely bright. There would be uh, millions and billions of stars there but their light is blocked out. This is one gap in the dust that we can kind of see through and get a little bit of a view of what it might be like. Now that doesn't mean it's incredibly bright. It simply means that there's a lot more stars that we see there than in the surrounding regions. So it gives us kind of that view as to what we're able to see looking through maybe several thousand light years away from Earth instead of just closer. Most of the stars that we see are with relatively close to Earth within a couple thousand light years. Here we may be seeing 10,000 light years away. And we have to keep in mind that our galaxy is 100,000 light years across. So there are far many objects on the other side that we simply cannot see because of material in between us and those regions. Now there are other ways that we map these out using things like radio waves to be able to study. Radio waves are much better at penetrating through dust and can give us a better view into the regions of the galaxy like this. And in fact, the Sagittarius A is the strongest radio source in the sky. So you think about that, it's the brightest object in the sky when you look at it at radio waves. So you can consider how bright it could be visually if we could actually see it without the dust there. Now this is in the direction towards the center of our galaxy and which happens to be located in the constellation of Sagittarius. So when we look there we tend to see far more nebulae, far more stars, far more gas and dust than when we look in just random locations. So if you look at the Milky Way as it stretches across the sky you'll see that concentration as we get toward the central regions in Sagittarius. The Milky Way itself will form almost a complete circle in the sky. When we're looking away from the center, then we will see very few stars and just a very thin Milky Way. When we look closer and closer to the center, we will start to see much more prominent regions there and much many more stars in that specific area of the sky. And here we concentrate as we look toward one of those regions that gives us a glimpse into the more distant stars. And that is the Sagittarius star cloud known as Messier 24. So that was our picture of the day for July 18th of 2024. It was titled Messier 24 Sagittarius Star Cloud. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be Festival of Planets. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.